Yo, it's Marty VR, and today we have a lot to talk about. Valve just dropped a bomb, okay? They dropped the Steam link for the Quest platform. So it works on Quest 2, Quest 3, and Quest Pro. And I actually found out that the foveated rendering actually works for the Quest Pro. So that actually gives some use to the Quest Pro other than, you know, there's other uses for uh, PC VR. So that is, that's amazing. One, two, this is unexpected. Three, I dropped a flop video, so Valve gave me something else to talk about. Shout out Lord Gaben. <laughs> but this is gonna be like a first impressions type video. I don't expect anything spectacular. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and all that stuff. It's pretty simple for what I've seen. So we'll go ahead and get into it. And remember, I have a video talking about PC VR tomorrow. Please come back and check that out. It's one of my best think piece type analysis videos that I've probably ever done. So I'm hyping it up because I do feel like it's that good. And I just, you know, I just came for words so I'm dressed like this if you wonder. But let's, let's get into it. Enough talking. All right, guys, we're back in the Quest 3 headset. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store, show you guys how it looks. So I'm gonna click store. Let's type in Steam link. Man, I am excited to try this. I've never, this is a crazy shadow drop. Go to Steam link. Let's see. Steam. Let's start on Steam. Let's see what we get. Okay, Steam link right here. A lot of people already tried. Twenty-seven reviews already. Go ahead and go to get. All right, so now we can open it. That was a pretty cool game style. It's really small, like forty-eight megabytes. Pretty good. All right, what we got? What we got? Welcome to Steam link. Connected. Get need to pair your headset to a computer running Steam. Okay, get started. Okay, so it scans your local network. Marty Dude PC, yes, yes, yes. Allow. Oh, that's easy. Okay, just had to confirm the code. Now we're connecting. What? There's no way this actually works. This actually works. What? Whoa. Bruh, we really got it working. That's crazy. What's the settings like? Like, what's the display, maybe? No. Uh, I guess they don't really have any options for it right now. I can see VR settings. There we go. Okay, you can change everything. Let's change that down to 90. Um, render resolution still can be customized. We can do custom. 200% is always what we do because we have a 4090. So you can do all your settings in the headset. That's really cool. Um, wow. Okay. Video. Okay, so we already seen general video. So. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much it. I want to see, okay, Steam Link. Let's see what this is. So you can actually do target bandwidth. Okay. I'm going to set that to auto for now. Encoded video size. We can just do auto. Encryption off. On disconnect, exit Steam VR to five minutes. You can show a debug graph. I'm going to show that for when we're actually in game. Control headset volume and mute from Steam VR. Definitely. Okay, so they give you some really good options. Um in headset that's actually pretty nice see developer no, i'm not gonna do that but we're gonna um let's go ahead and start a game up you know you know what game we have to play right guys we, we gotta play the game you play when you try out like a steam vr game right so we're gonna play half-life alex <laughs> okay guys now we're in contractor so we're gonna do a little bit of shooting around to see how this goes i haven't played contractors in them oh Oh wait, hold up. Oh my god, okay. I'm not used to playing contract to sitting down, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man. So I'm not gonna lie, right now, it's running pretty good. I can't complain. Reload smooth. It doesn't feel better than a uh, virtual desktop right now, but it's it's pretty great, not gonna lie. This is really good. I think I have to do some tinkering around with it, but for right now, it runs really well. I ain't gonna lie to you. Even with me doing the casting from the quest, pretty good stuff. Let's see where the people at. I definitely recommend it. I need to download Half Life Alex and try it out on there. I think we have a finally a third streaming or fourth streaming solution for PC VR games. Oh my god, I suck. 
All right, well, everyone's confirmed that it works in for this game. So let's just try it on a different game real fast. All right, guys, so Half-Life Battle looks broken, so we're going to play some Project Wingman. That's one of my favorite VR games, so you know we got to play it. So let's go to resume and just hop on in. Right now, it feels crazy smooth. I do got to say that. Like, I haven't had a crazy amount of latency. For some reason, my PC VR stream has just been terrible this past month. But with this right now, it's, like, really smooth. So we're going to start it. Damn. Maybe this might replace virtual desktop for me. We're going to see. Right now, it feels smooth. A little latency, but nothing too, you know, not manageable. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Not many pop-ins, kind of like the space warp and stuff like that. Not too much of that right now. Let's see, where are they? Behind this, nice. Feels like the FPS is going really good right now. Probably about, I think we got about 90 hertz right now. All right. Let's fight some enemies. It's like, I really want to try this with Alex, man, but it's just not working for me right now. It's weird because for a while, half of Alex was broken for me. So we're back at that point now. Don't know why, but here we are. I will say there is some stutter now that I'm kind of in the game. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little stutter. It's smooth, though. It's really smooth. I do like the kind of UI of virtual desktop a little bit more, though. And I will put, like, some comparison footage. I feel like virtual desktop is a little more optimized right now. But I think, I think it's a good alternative, though. I think I need to tweak around with it some more. And I might be able to get it to that same performance. Because I'm not sure how they're doing their, their uh, encoding and stuff like that. Oh, got to rotate. But it's nice you can di connect directly to Steam now. This is going to help me with a lot of games and a lot of streaming. So now I'm, not I'm running virtual desktop and, you know... Um, Steam VR, I can just run Steam VR. So I save a little bit of resources when streaming and stuff like that. And two, we're also casting, so uh, casting could be an issue here also. Got him. How many we got? About three more. Let's go ahead and get you out of here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna get lost in this game. <laughs> I really am. Oh, I can do another video kind of showcasing more games. I kind of want to keep this video short. I just like kind of a general first impression. So we're going to probably cut this off at some point, but I come, I kind of, I'm kind of having fun, not going to lie. Okay, now that it's going, I feel it. this does feel really smooth. It feels a lot smoother now. I don't know, though. I don't know if I like it more than virtual desktop, though. I will say that. I'm trying, to look, I'm trying not to get caught in the hype and be, you know, objective here. Oh, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. But yeah, Steam Link is a W, not gonna lie. I gotta try out more games. I'll probably stream tonight to kind of just play around with it, play around the settings, see what we get. I forgot how to. Okay, that's, that's how you do the, the flare. It's nice. This game is fire, man. Such a good game. I was rather we don't really talk about it. It's like kind of like one of my favorite flight sims. Arcady enough to really have fun in it, not too serious. I wish I had like a multiplayer or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the gameplay, man. We, I think we played enough, kind of showcased. Check out the Sniper Elite Winter Warrior review. The game is very interesting. Might might like it for the Quest 3. Uh, for my PC VR people, I do have a video coming out tomorrow about the state of PC VR. It's probably one of my best videos I've done. Just straight analysis, really good. Check it out. I don't think you'd be disappointed with it or anything like that. So check that out. It is going to be out tomorrow at 11 a.m. CST. But it's been your DVR. And remember, just do the VR headset. Peace.